So we're just in the third person combat template and we have a new character here who can do all of our combo punches and our charge attack. And we also have implemented sword attacks as well. And the same again on our enemy. So we've put a brand new custom character on our enemy and they can also do our punch attacks as well. So any questions, drop them in the comments below. And we have a Discord as well if you'd like to ask any questions. And thanks for watching. So we'll go to 5.6 and we'll open 5.6. And then we'll go to games and third person. And the variant one is the combat variant. And then we've got the variant combat. So we're just going to open that up so we're on the right level. And we'll go to fab. And we're going to get some Paragon assets and we'll get, we'll get Quang and we'll just 5.5 is fine. Add into the project and we'll get the K mirror back in the level. We're going to go to blueprints and go to BP combat character. And we're going to draw the debug type so you can see what I mean just here. So on event do attack trace here. And currently this attack trace is just shooting a line from one place to another. And we're not going to change that because it's only going to be a quick tutorial. But you would really want it to be tracing the entire time that the hand is moving rather than just the one time where the foot is. But we're going to leave it because it's already set up like that. So we don't need to make any changes here. We can turn for duration off. We do need to change this so that we get a new combo. So the first thing we're going to do is right click and create an enum. And this will be E combat type. Open that up add two to this and we want unarmed as the first one because that'll be our default and we want sword and we'll say that's fine and then we're going to add this to the variables so drop a variable down and get combat type that you've just created and this will be combat type and then we want to drag that out here and then on this montage to play where we're doing the combo attack we're going to get a select and we'll put combat type into the index and the combo attack montage. We're going to find that so we can search, go to the attack montage, the combo attack montage. And we'll duplicate that. So control D to duplicate it. And we're going to rename that to combo attack montage sword and the top one that is combo attack montage we can rename that to unarmed so the unarmed one we put into unarmed then we're going to grab out the sword one and put that into sword as well so you can just drag it into the world and say get okay next bit to do down here we have these combo section names and we want to again get our combat type And we want to do a select off this. And the return value just goes into the last index. And then combo section names for unarmed goes in here. Because if we open up details and go to the combo section names, you might need to compile to make it appear. You can see that it's listed for all the melee ones. So we also want to duplicate that. So combo section names. We're going to duplicate that and we're going to duplicate it as opposed to use it because our sword combo is going to have four sections it's not going to have three sections and then we're going to get that here and then in sword combo sections which you've compiled it with details and we're going to add in another one change it to 
sword. So change all these to sword 01, 02. So 02 for the second one, 03 for the third one, and 04 for the fourth one. And then we can grab this select statement and duplicate it and put it into this get over here. And then finally, this montage here needs a new select. And we'll get our combo type, not our combat type even. And the montage unarmed goes into unarmed. And our sword tap montage goes into sword. So that bit is done. Now we're just going to make a one key and get the combat type and do a switch. And then from combat type, if we're unarmed, we're going to go into sword. And if we're in sword, we're going to go into unarmed. And we can do a print string at the end just to confirm what we're doing. And we can control duplicate that to go to the bottom one. So in the top one, we're going to have it go to unarmed. No, it's going to go to sword. Apologies. And then the bottom one's going to be unarmed. I'm going to go to mesh and change the skeletal mesh asset to Quang. You can choose any one you want. I'm going to choose the man bone one. And if we look now, he's chibi one. And so to change that, we're going to go to money combat, right click it, and we're going to retarget animations. But we want to go to retarget the ABP money combat, the full thing. And we're going to retarget it to Kwong, the one that he chose. And then I'm going to export the animations. I'm going to call the new folder Kwong ABP. You can right click and get a new folder and export those. And now if I go to the mesh and this anim class here, animation, money, combat, there we go. So now if we play, we can choose play and editor. And he runs around as before. If we do a punch, he becomes Wolf Kwong. So we need to fix that. And the way to fix that is to go to the combo attack right click it and retarget it and we can do both the charge attack and the combo attack retarget those to the Quang. export those animations put them in Quang abp again export once we've changed the animations so we're going to go to combat attack montage and instead of am combo attack it's going to be this new one am combo attack and then for the charged one it's going to be this new charged attack. There we go. Our combo is running through and our charge attack is also there as well. Beautiful. Okay. But sword combos. Let's get the sword up. I'm going to go to the actual Paragon Kwang. Characters. Heroes, Kwong, animations, and then we're going to type in primary. You can type in attack as well, but primary works. And we're going to open up primary attack a slow montage. Get rid of this save attack and reset combo, because we're doing it the way that it's been done in the template. So we want this B slow, and we're going to drag that in and drop it. C slow, we're going to do the same, and D slow. These are all the combos. Now you look, it runs through all of them in a row. So we'll pause it. I'm going to go to default and we're going to change the section name to sword 01. And we're just going to copy that. And then we're going to right click and get a new montage section. And this will be called sword 02. So you can control V that name just to make it easier. And then we're going to move this purple line to the end. We're going to do the same on this one so make sure you click on the top montage section and then change it to number three 
and the second the last one make sure it's sorted for i'm going to change this upper body slot to be default slot and then in each of these animations double click on the animations and we're going to enable root motion on those so if we open up attack montage again double click on be slow root motion open up attack 8 montage and open up attack c slow add root motion and then attack d slow we can just add it add root motion and what root motion does is allows you to move with the animation so you're not sliding all on the ground okay all right back in attack a slow montage we're going to add some notifies so we want to create a new track insert notify track and then we're going to add in a notify for attack combo and then one more for attack damage you'll see the names change here so select do melee attack damage and we want it to come from the hand lowercase hand r and then we're going to grab both of those and control c come to our uh, section two and control V go into our section three and control V and then section four control V and we just want to shimmy those around a little bit so where we're slashing that's where we want to do our damage And then we just want to move the combos along a little bit so that we can combo as well this default hasn't changed to sword 01 so we need to change that to sword 01 and then inside where it says montage sections we're going to click these arrows and remove the link because we don't want them to play the next section unless we tell it to and then when you save that come back to combat character find your sword montage and we'll change that to primary attack a slow montage now if we go to level combat we've got our punches and we'll just press one to change the sword and we've got our sword combo and if we attack these boxes we can see that that all works then we'll come to attack this guy And you've just added sword and a bespoke character to your game. We can change the enemy ones as well. So it's content, bearing combat, blueprints, AI, combat enemy. Let's see what he's got. He's got the same sort of attack combo system cracking off as well. So we can grab this combo attack and we can right click to retarget it. And if you get a new Paragon character, so I can put it on Chimera. We want the money combat, the combo attack. I'm going to export those animations. This will be enemy new anims. We'll export those. And then we can change the mesh to be a new a mirror and money combat to be new money combat. We'll just double check that that's the right one. Yeah. So it's in the enemy folder. So you can check this little folder icon. I mean, you can see that it's in enemy new items. Let's go back to our BP enemy and we can find our charged attack. We go to content and type in charged. And then AM charged attack, we can just retarget that to the chimera and export that. 
to animate new anims, export. And if we keep it selected here and then go to charge the type montage, we can go to details. Select this AM charge attack and then press this little button here. And that should be everything that we need. I will test this, run into the arena. Here's our enemy dude doing his business. And now. Hopefully, you want. You wanted to attack me a lot a minute ago. And here we go with some attacking. Enemies. And we can change to sword. And we can even do one sword combo into. Punching combo. Like that. And that's it. So any questions, drop them below. We've got a Discord as well, should you want to join that and ask any questions. And thank you very much.